It's me, Vaishnav Dhangar, and today I'm doing a review on the Android Wear 2.0 on the Moto 360 Sport. And as you all know, the Moto 360 second gen got the Android Wear 2.0 update like two months back. Now it's finally here for the Moto 360 Sport. And so basically what's changed is the software interface, so let's get on to it. So first things first. Now, if you want to change between the watch faces, you just gotta scroll left and right. And another cool thing that you can do is select the widgets and you can change it. Like suppose the battery percentage widget I want to change, you just tap and hold on to it. And you can select the accent, the background color, and what app you want it to actually show. So which select which dial and then which app you want it to show. This is pretty helpful because I like to know which how, what's my battery percentage of the watch and how many steps I've taken in the day. And so that's pretty cool what you can do with it. And another cool thing is the app menu now. It's pretty different. Like to access the app menu, you just got to press that button. And now instead of a linear type of menu, now it's kind of like a circular one, which makes sense because it's a round device. And... So now it's different, and the, one of the major updates in Android Wear 2.0 is that now it has the Play Store on the watch. So you can download stuff without even connecting it to your phone. So let me show you. Just tap on Play Store, and then you can select which app you want to install, and then just install it. I've already installed this. Wait, let me show you. So like Telegram, just install, shows you all the details. That's pretty much it. And one of the other cool features is that now the task menu is just right here. You don't have to scroll to do anything. And another cool thing is now the notifications. They like take the whole screen and then depending on the app, it changes and the color of the background. So that's pretty cool. And now it has... Google Assistant built in. So to access Google Assistant, you just have to tap and hold on. I mean, hold on to the button. So just press long press the button. How old is Robert Downey Jr.? So see, that was pretty quick. And here it is. He's 52 years. And that's my favorite actor right there. So he's pretty cool. And let's do another one. Tom Holland, Spider-Man Homecoming. So here it is, and it shows me the release date, the director, the box office profits, and then what the film series are, and the rating. So that's pretty cool. And another one of the cool things is that the settings menu, it's changed. Now it has, like, a ton of other options, and again, it's, like, a linear, uh, what is it, menu, and the background's black. And one thing I like is that now everything's black. So before the menus, like, the app menu used to be white, and it doesn't make sense for it to be white on a watch like this. So the black really suits it. And another cool thing is that the Google Fit and the Google Fit workout apps are, like, pretty awesome. Like, let me show you the fit workout app. There's a lot of different types of workouts like walking, running, biking, treadmill running, stationary biking, stair climbing machine, strength training, sit up challenge, push up challenge, and squat challenges, and other ones which I haven't tried out. And so let me show you my fitness workout for today. So I went, uh, so I went 4.15 kilometers today. So that took me one hour, 5,057 steps, and that's how many calories I've burned. And one cool thing is that every five minutes it checks my heart rate. So these are my heart rates for every five minutes. So that, that was a pretty cool thing. And I really love this. So because this is like a smartwatch, which is made for like people who want fitness tracking as well as smartwatch features on their watch. So that's pretty cool. And one sec. To, to change the watch face, you just scroll left and right. And I love how you can customize everything. 
and I can select the recent ones which I want so that's me pretty much so this update basically what it did was it made a smartwatch a standalone up standalone device so this was pretty much what it was meant for and it was a pretty major update from the Android Wear 1.5 and th this update was pretty good as it also increased the battery life like it's already uh what's the time right 615 i mean 715 and i still have 67% battery life left and so it can easily give you one day of battery life and it's increased after the update. I think they optimized the battery usage better. And yeah. And also the apps. There's there's a lot of new apps on the Play Store. Uh, like before there weren't as many apps. And now there, there's just a ton of apps. And let me show you some of the apps that I've downloaded. So... I like gaming on stuff because when I'm bored, I just look at my watch and start gaming. So, one of the games which is pretty cool is Tron Bikes. So, it's basically like the old-fashioned Tron game. So, here it is. So, you just tap right to go right, left to go right, and there's... I mean, left to go left, what am I saying? So, it's pretty cool. Then, you crash, you lose, pretty much. And the most frequent game that people play on smartwatches is, uh, let me show you what it is, I forgot the name, Papercraft. So it's kind of like a Space Invaders game, but it's kind of different, it's like a newer version of Space Invaders, I guess, not sure. And so you just tap to go forward, and that's pretty much it. And so the Google Assistant was basically the best thing ever. Like, even if you want just to check the weather, just hold on to it. Say, show me today's weather forecast. And bam, there it is. So that's pretty much it. And so thank you for watching. And please subscribe and watch my other videos. I hope you like this one. And I want to start making other tech reviews. And I'm sure I'm going to be making a, rev a total review of the Moto 360 smart smartwatch. And so it has a silicone band, heart rate sensor, and other sensors built in. I'll, I'll be making a full review on it. So thank you for watching. And stay tuned. Peace.